Hey guys, Jason Newton on the Soul, and I'm so excited to show you um, a lacrosse stick today for Throwback Thursday. Um, it is, for a start, it's butt ugly. It's one of the ugliest lacrosse sticks you're ever going to see. But I'm also super excited because it might be the rarest lacrosse stick to, to find if you're into collecting um, uh, dusty old junk. <laughs> no, uh, if you're into, into lacrosse memorabilia. Um, very, very difficult to find. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of sticks first before we get into it. There was a period of what we're going to call transition sticks. And I don't mean transition as in kind of coming down the field and moving the ball. Um, you know, going from defence to offence. I'm talking about things like this. The Holt Switch Shooter. Now, I have featured this stick before on eBay, so I'm not going to talk for too long about the Switch Shooter. Um, and sticks like this, which hasn't been featured yet, but I'm going to show you right now because it's very relevant to the stick I'm going to show you. Um, this is a Patterson stick. And again, it's a it's a transition stick because it's part plastic and part wood. And then we've got this, which I've just acquired, and it's the Jargon. It's heinously ugly. It really is, but I love it. And I love it because, A, it's so, so rare. Um, very, very, very difficult uh, to, to find this if you're into collecting little cross sticks. And um, very, very unusual because having tried to pick one of these up for years, and you know, some of these sticks, they're so difficult to find. They're almost impossible to pick up in that suit collection. And I've just acquired two in the space of a month. So um, one is sitting in Canada at the moment I bought for, um, um, don't tell my wife, but I bought for a, a considerable sum of money um, because she doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> She'll watch cooking videos, but she won't watch little historic uh, lacrosse videos. Can you imagine that? Um, but um, she would not be happy if <laughs> I paid for the other one of these which was in immaculate condition and found up in Canada. This one, bizarrely, I have found here in the UK. Now, I am pretty confident in saying this will be the only jargon outside of North America uh, and that was ever exported outside of North America. So before I get into showing you too much about the stick, I'm just gonna explain kind of how I've come by this. Um, weirdly, I haven't been on UK eBay for months and months and months. And um, I have picked up a few um, lacrosse collectibles via eBay um, here in the UK over the years. You know, not too many. Most, you know, 90% of it is coming from eBay in the States and, you know, occasionally up in Canada. You know, certainly some wooden sticks. And um, the other one of these I've purchased, you know, again from Canada. Um, this was in the UK and it was being listed by a gentleman who had been the director of a sporting goods store. And he'd been given the jargon uh, as a possible um, stick to go up against SDX and Brine as they entered the plastic stick market. Um, now again, this kind of transition period of part plastic, part, you know, wood. This one's not actually wood. This is what we think is a fiberglass um, wrap. Now, th there's a bit of weight in this, to be honest. But, um, you know, it's a very unusual kind of looking stick. But um, he had taken this stick to Kale Green. Now, you might know Kale Green as Stockport Lacrosse Club, oldest lacrosse club in the world, if you didn't already know that. And um, he showed this to people at Stockport, and they just went, no, 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 this, this, is a, this is terrible. And they didn't like the design of the stick, didn't like the feel of the stick, and therefore he never pursued selling this stick. So, you know, it, it's, I'm pretty confident this will be the only one. And they are extremely rare. They're like rocking horse poo to find these sticks. And to find one that's, you know, I'm not going to say never been used. There's a couple of ever so slight scoopies. So someone's obviously tried to pick up a ground ball with this and then just gone, no. Um, the reason being is because if you look at it, it's, it's not very symmetrical, is it? You know, and you look at, you know, that, I mean, that's, that's pretty symmetrical, that with its, you know, it's kind of, I say gut wall, plastic wall, and again, this is a plastic wall. Um, so the scoop is kind of off, it's at a weird angle. So I, I can imagine this being, you know, a really difficult stick to use. Um, actually just come off a phone call with a friend up in Canada whose father bought him one of these to play with uh, when they first came out. The gentleman I bought from didn't believe they'd gone to production, but they had because I know other people, you know, have owned these in the past and 
I say played with him, attempted to play. My friend Curtis used this a couple of times, just like, no, this is awful, Dad. Um, doesn't know what happened to that stick. Um, maybe his dad didn't like him very much. But, um, you know, it is an a, a appalling stick. It just, it, everything about this is just terrible. Um, but at the same time, it's amazing because it's so rare. It's very unusual, very interesting piece of, you know, um, uh, lacrosse stick evolution, let's say. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of features on it. So again, we've seen this kind of weird scoop that's off. Um, absolutely no reason for that to, to be off, but you know, it's just really odd. Um, it's obviously a plastic, you know, we've got the plastic um, wall here. Um, there doesn't seem to be a screw here. So I'm just imagining this is glued on, um, glued into the shaft. Uh, you've got this tape here around the top here, which is you know, this isn't an aftermarket thing. This is the tape that was on it, I imagine. Um, look at the end cap real quick. I mean, you just imagine, you know, twisting that off and Coca-Cola fizzing out the top of it. It looks like a bottle cap. It looks like a bottle cap. Um, very shallow end cap. So I imagine that that is also glued on because it's not going to stay on its own. It's so shallow. Um, I'm, I'm, the other ones I've seen for sale because they've all been so beat up. I've never seen one that had an end cap. Um, so it's in really good condition apart from um the gut wall so the gut wall is again it's plastic but you see here it snaps here just above where the leather has been knotted on here now th this may have happened in transit um it was pretty well packed it was bubble wrapped quite tight so it might have been snapped I'm, I'm not gonna moan at the seller that, that oh it's, it's, it's broken um I imagine this was broken beforehand, in all honesty, because it's, it just looks so weak and feeble. You know, it's got this, this leather here that's been run across the top, and there doesn't seem to be any reason to have that whatsoever. There just doesn't. Um, only that they knew it was a weak spot, and they've tried to kind of beef it up with something. And I just think that it's, it's so thin. It was always going to snap. It really was. I mean, if you look at... The wall on this, this just feels more substantial. It's still just plastic, but it's clearly more substantial than that. Now, I've, I've seen a couple of traditional wooden sticks that have a plastic gut wall. And again, they just seem to be an awful lot better built than this. This is just really thin. Um, it's got orange leathers in it. Um, it's got... Um, what is quite a thick cord for a cross lace uh, certainly thicker than you'd see boot lace on a traditional stick um you know i have seen thick cord like this used in a wooden stick a couple of times in the past um same material for the shooting string um you know the, the leathers are in pretty good shape to be honest considering the age of the stick you know you, imagine this was kind of out mid 70s uh, I'm, I'm gonna shoot that this thing came out it's very very difficult to find the information on this stick um again if you if you google the name and there, there is the name right there jargon so it's jar apostrophe uh gone which i believe is the hunt in german i'm gonna verify that because that's what the seller said in the listing um you know it's just very very unusual um very ugly stick you know i, I can't imagine that if you weren't as bonkers about old lacrosse memorabilia as I am, then most people can look at this and go, oh, what on earth is that? But I, I look at this now and I just think that it's really interesting because it shows a transition period. You know, maybe someone was clutching at straws thinking that, you know, oh, maybe plastic sticks won't take off, you know, in, in you know, the original SDX and, and, and Brian sticks. And that there was still a, a need for sticks like this. And I think there really wasn't by the time people were reducing this. The game had already moved forward and it, it was moving far far away from a lacrosse stick that looked anything like this um you know, anything like a, a traditional wooden stick um very difficult to find you know just amazing that i've managed to find this you know in the uk ugh, I can't, can't even speak um so excited but um very unusual to have found this in the uk um for certain and the fact that i've managed to find two in the space of a month is just kind of crazy been looking for one of these for it's been on my wish list for a number of years so um really pleased to find one 
if there's anyone out there that comes across this video, because there are people that find these videos because they're looking for information about old sticks like this. If there's anyone that does have any more information about the jargon, because somebody out there must know something more than I do. You know, Google, there's just like no information on these, this stick. God knows how many of these things would have been run off at the time, but there's gotta be somebody out there that knows more about this stick how it came about, where it originated, um, you know, what, what was the thinking behind designing this? You know, is this slightly bent or, you know, or is the scoop meant to look like that? I don't know. But um, if you've got any more information, please reach out. You know, love to hear from you. Um, hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, hoping to catch back up and produce a bit more content here on YouTube. We've just been so busy this year, you know, producing some of the YouTube content, which has been a bit difficult this year. Um, but this thing managed to come into my hands and just felt compelled to give you some information about it and just show you this awesome jargon stick. 